Right now, Space Center Houston is home to an extraordinary piece of cosmic history. A pristine sample from the asteroid Bennu is now on display there. And Rick Mudaraj has the details on this significant milestone. This really is an extraterrestrial treasure, and it's now on display in our area. Space Center Houston, one of only three institutions to get a piece of space history. We've been waiting patiently for a long time. Paul Spana, the director of collections at Space Center Houston, did the honors. They want to keep it as pristine as possible. So the best way to do that is to have it in a secure container in an environment that's controlled. And what I mean by that is it's exposed to uh, nitrogen gas, which is an, an inert gas. And that's the best way to protect the rock. The rock is a sample of the asteroid Bennu. During the seven year long mission, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft essentially kissed the asteroid, collected a sample, and then dropped it off in the Utah desert last September. A significant get, since scientists believe Bennu was around during the formation of the solar system more than four and a half billion years ago. I had a question yesterday about, well, don't, can't we find space rocks here on Earth? And yes, there are meteorites here, and there are pieces of asteroids, and there's even pieces of Moon and Mars here. The difference is that this, the NASA went out into space, out into the vacuum of space, and, and selected this piece and brought it back. The 0.15 gram sample is so small, a magnifying glass is used to view it. We put a lot of thought into making sure that everybody could see it, and we didn't want to make the mistake of having the sample too high so children wouldn't be able to see it. And while the sample has no gravitational pull, it immediately attracted museum goers. We're going to take good care of it so that it's here for a long time. The asteroid sample is on loan to Space Center Houston for at least two years, so you have some time to check out the display. The two other institutions that received asteroid samples are the Smithsonian Museum and the University of Arizona. In the newsroom, I'm Reka Mutaraj.